Hello and welcome to this edition of Merc Talk. This week we get into a job which I've been really looking forward to. It's painting the interior of the Mercedes. Now this is very worn out as you can see, but help is on hand from our friends in Germany. Volico. This is Anthracite R170 and it's the rubberized leather interior paint that Mercedes use. So this should be an exact color match. This was another scenario where they said, contact the manufacturer, they'll sort you out, but they didn't. So another eBay purchase here, you can see it there. And one thing you're gonna need is an applicator sponge and some gloves. Now this stuff dries really quickly. And the idea is you wanna clean this up. I've not got the primer, I'm gonna go without it. Shake up the bottle, apply it to the sponge and dab it on to get a nice textured finish. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So this is the first time I've ever used this stuff. I've already cleaned the interior and I used a sponge with a scour pad on one side because you wanna take up all the rough edges around here and then cleaned it off with clean water. I, I just use warm soapy water to clean it, clean cool water to rinse. see how this goes slightly nervous because this could be a really good way to screw the whole interior up so there it is Let's dab it on wow wow this is going to take a few coats I don't know if you can see that but the color match is absolutely impeccable and that already looks brilliant Wow, I'm very impressed with this stuff. It's got a little bit there of excess on the wee slidey drawer. Let's see if I can pull that off. Let's just open that. Now you can see here what a great match that colour is. I didn't think it'd be this easy, to be honest with you. But look at that. I can already s feel it drying. Now a nice thin layer to start with. That's not so thin, but I seem to be getting away with it. This was 20 quid, very well spent. Look at that already. It's as if it never happened. So ladies and gents, I'm showing you this as a kind of an after shot. Uh, I'll show you a before and then after and I think you'll agree it's fantastic. It's an exact colour match. Now it didn't go so great here. I don't know if that's air bubbles or little bits of the pre-existing paint that I didn't remove. But that's still drying and I can always go over that with another coat. But in terms of here, remember the corner here and here. This is all just after two quick coats. I'm going to leave it for a while and maybe do a third coat. But it looks brilliant. Uh, 20 quid Volco. I'll put a link on the description uh, to the paint. But great.